Hello and welcome to another Raggy's Beers, Wines and Spirits review. Tonight I'm going to be reviewing this little fella. So from the Fullers and Friends box set, which as far as I know is only available at Retro's. I've only seen it at Retro's anyway. 10 or £12 depending on if there's an offer on it. This is Ms. Prized. Ms. Prized, yeah. It's an oak. Oat Mild from Fuller's and Magic Rock, uh, Huddersfield Brewery. So, 4.5% uh, and, uh, yeah. Um, I do like these Fuller's and Friends. Uh, the, last, the one last year, six. It's basically Fuller's are collaborating with small breweries from all over. Not just England, sometimes from abroad. And, uh, you know, it's a great way to give the smaller breweries a bit of an you know a knee you know a knee up and i think that's great you know i think you know um i used to do it with websites you know give other websites a bit of a um that post post stuff linking to them to give them a boost and then they'd get big and just ignore you but uh, that's life isn't it <clears throat> as you do with people i suppose you know you help them out when they come into a job you help them out and then they stab me in the back. Yeah, that happened at City Council with me. Brutally stabbed in the back. Yes, lovely people. Yes, I won't piss on them if they're on fire. <clears throat> but hey, oh, you know, life in life you're going to meet some a souls, as it were. So it says a mild and undervalued beer style. Not anymore. In a celebration of this clash classic English style. We've teached a traditional recipe from 1920 by adding rum barrel oak chips to give a sweet, nutty depth of flavour. Overall, it's rich, multi masterpiece, and that's putting it mildly. Yeah. That was interesting, wasn't it? So, I had a mild recently, um, St. Peter's Mild, and I have got to say, it got a near top 10 beer uh, score, or did it get top 10? Might have even got a top 10. And uh, it was a very, very good beer. So, very dark colour there, you know, um, chestnut coloured, uh, white head on the aroma. I would have a blocked nose, wouldn't I? Yeah, definitely can smell the malt. Looks a nice beer as well. I can't see any carbonation or lacing, but look at the head. That you know, it's got to be there. Chucking it down again as usual. You know, I, I fit. You know, anybody who lives anywhere near a floodplain or places that get um, waterlogged, you know, it must be hell looking out the window and thinking what's going to happen. You know, I mean, I live on top of a hill, so there's no chance in God's green earth, you know, that it'd happen. But, you know, anybody who lives near rivers, you know, it must be frightening, you know. Um, looking out the window and seeing this sheer amount of rain we've had recently. I mean, everywhere is saturated, and yet more rain's coming down. We need a dry spell. A good month for dry. Nothing. You know. Mm. So, definitely getting the nuttiness. Lovely maltiness as well. See if I can get the sweetiness. There's a sweetness on, on the initial um, intake. There's a bit of a sweetness. Oat mild, wow. Good to see. You know, that uh, some of the older beer variety, uh, styles that have disappeared, I mean, mild has disappeared quite a lot. You know, it's good to see that some breweries are still, you know, bringing it back in their own form. Blue Monkey near me, they've got their own version of a mild. I cannot remember the name for life. St. Peter's have got their mild, which is a fantastic mild, as I've already said. So, yeah, 4.5%. Tastes stronger, you know, it's... a. Uh, it's a nice beer. It'd be better if it was warm rather than chilled. It's chilled in here. Um, I would think that 
the flavours would come out much more if it was warm. Maybe I'll get another six pack at some stage and, uh, you know, go down that route again. Now, these Fullers and Friends box sets for 10 or, or 12 quid if you have to pay the full price, um, they're exceptional. You know, if you're near a Retro's, go and get yourself six bottles, three 30ml bottles for a tenner. I can't fault them. Absolutely can't fault them because it'll be six beers you've never had before. Collaboration beers with Fullers. Um, so obviously they're bound to make a bit of money out of it, I would have thought. Not just Fullers. But anyway, you know, and but not only that, it's, it's great for that brewery, you know, to get some recognition by one of the, from one of the biggest breweries. Long may that continue, you know. Uh, you see collaborations all the time, but to bring out a box set um, using your power to give them the boost, I love it, love it. Oh. So I'm at work today and uh, recently moved to a new job two months ago and uh, it was painted you know people did draw a picture it was painted as a fantastic job and it's not the job I I thought it was going to be and uh, you know my m I'm going over every last little conundrum I'm looking back on indeed as well at the moment and uh, I mean is the perfect job out there I'm sure it is but um, working on my own most of the day, it is, I find it so strange, you know. And uh, I mean, even on the park, you know, you used to work on your own a bit on the Arboretum, but never like this. And uh, yeah, it's, um, plus I've got an oik, keep phoning me up, giving me bloody, telling me what to do all the time. And it does my bolting, you know. I mean, you can be told something and then they're leaving you alone in most jobs, but uh, it's like being back at Sainsbury's in some ways. And I got out of Sainsbury's because I was fed up of little twats telling me what to do. And, um, yeah, I feel like that's progressing that way again. And, uh, I mean, this person's got better. When I first went, he was an arse. He's got better, but he still can't help himself. And... Uh, this won't be my forever job, that's for sure. Hey, isn't life great? So, loving this. Um, trying to give it a few minutes to um, warm up, as it were. Very pleasant tasting. Very pleasant tasting. A lovely sweetness there. You know, um, I don't know if, it, if the oakiness is coming through. Maybe it would if it was warmer. All in all, though, very nice drink, you know. And even though oaks are mild, like a traditional beer, this is a traditional beer of that extra, that oakiness and the rum, you know, coming through. So it gives it a twang of flavour, you know, like a craft mild, you know, which is, you don't see many craft milds. So it's, uh, well, but well impressed. Never heard of Ms. Ms. Prized, the brewery. But then again, to be fair, there's so many breweries in Britain at the moment. These micro breweries, God, how many is there? Hey, I suppose as long as they're making a bit of coin and keeping alive and keeping people in a job, you know, it's a great thing. You know, um, great for Britain. You know, especially if you get if you can send them abroad and sell barrels abroad and things like that. Um, yeah. So, to break it down, uh, lovely chestnut colour, white head, good carbonation and lacing. Um, malty, malt on the, on the aroma, I couldn't smell anything else because my nose is bunged up. Um, sweetness on the taste, uh, that must be the rum. The oakiness, there's a bit of wood there, but I will not say it was massive. But all in all, um, the mild, lovely, a really, really pleasant beer. Not just pleasant as in, you know, doable, it's it's well drinkable and well quaffable, you know. 
This is a beer, if you had this in a pub, you're never going to see it in a pub, obviously, because it's a collaboration beer. I would doubt it, anyway. But, um, yeah, if you, ever, if you ever see this in the pub, or if you ever get the chance to get yourself a Fuller's and Friends box set, because that's the only place you'll get it, you won't get it single, uh, it's well worth. That was lovely. So, um, the warmer, warmer would have been better, I, I think, anyway. Um, but who knows, I mean, not massive, massive amount of complex flavours there, but good flavours as it is. Out of five of them, um, I liked it, really good. Um, a good beer, and Fuller's and Friends box sets, last year's was good, this year's was equally as good. 4.4 out of 5, I absolutely rated that. Right, time to go back in the air and get out this bloody rain. Thanks for watching, see you soon.